Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the most important models used in quant finance. <coughs> now, remember that quant finance is a very, uh, you know, vast field. It's very broad. So there are, you know, hundreds of models used there. But I'm going to talk only about the most important ones, right? The, the bare minimum that you should know if you are going to work in quant finance, right? Uh, <coughs> you know, you just learn these models and you go for an interview, most likely, you will get you know um, quite a number of questions from these models right so if you have just couple of months time just go through these models that should be you know enough to get started in, in quantity finance of course you need prerequisites right you need to have some programming knowledge and you need to have some knowledge of uh, finance and regulations and go, it goes without saying that you must also have some knowledge of uh, you know mathematics and statistical modeling so those things are prerequisite but beyond that you also need to know the more domain specific models in the field of finance right if you do a data science course learn some machine learning that's not enough to work in quant finance of course a machine learning is quite useful but you need to go beyond that <coughs> right so um yeah just to get started uh, if, if you're new uh you know to this field quant finance so what is quantity finance quant finance uh <coughs> consists of you know finance plus risk management for plus mathematical modeling plus coding right so it's an interdisciplinary area <coughs> in the field of finance where people work <coughs> um, on solving problems using data and mathematical models uh, it's a technical career that uh, requires you to have sound knowledge of uh, mathematical modeling <coughs> time series modeling or you know stochastic calculus uh, machine learning uh, regression modeling and so on and so forth and simulation as well <coughs> and beyond that you also need to know uh, good amount of mathematical coding and scientific computing right uh, and <coughs> uh, you should be able to you know solve problems in the field of risk management and and lending and investment all of that right so that's quant finance and those who work in quant finance they're known as quants um, uh, so as if you are an aspiring quant like what are the uh, you know models that you should be knowing bare minimum right that there's no compromise on that right <coughs> you could know more than that absolutely fine with that you should know more and more more is the better but you should know the bare minimum right <coughs> now quant finance models can be you know of couple of types right one is st statistical models uh, using regression techniques whether it's quantile regression linear regression logistic regression or time series modeling techniques such as you know arima uh, sarima <coughs> arch guards uh, error correction model and so on so forth but it could also be more mathematics driven right less data or more math theory driven models such as the derivative pricing models using stochastic calculus okay there you use some statistics uh, but mostly it's it's theory driven mathematical models <coughs> and you also use some you know Monte Carlo simulations there or the third type of models could be the machine learning or deep learning models where <coughs> you uh, focus primarily on predictions and and uh, you know there is a huge importance to cross validation and testing your model performance through different uh, you know cross validation techniques uh, you use all kinds of data alternate data uh, in order to improve the performance of machine learning and data deep learning models but do remember that machine learning and deep learning models are not used everywhere in quant finance right there are limitations to these models there is a great promise of these models that these models will be used in almost all areas in the future <coughs> that could happen but uh, you know uh, at the moment it's not being used everywhere right it's uh, <coughs> quite promising but there are the old style model or the um, you know the the traditional statistical models are still quite popular in the field of uh, finance so machine learning hasn't taken over traditional statistics at least in the field of finance right so I'm going to talk about the different areas of finance and what kind of models are used where, right? So <coughs> if you're going to be working in uh, derivative pricing, right? Now you can have, um, you know, a number of derivatives, right? There are many derivatives uh, used in the field of finance, right? It could be equity derivatives, it could be commodity derivative, it could be interest rate derivatives, so on and so forth, right? Derivative are hedging instruments, right? These are instruments used to sort of uh, <coughs> you know mitigate uh, the risk like future risk right it's used for hedging but these instruments are also heavily traded in the financial market okay <coughs> uh, so the important thing to know is what is the price at which you should buy 
a certain derivative uh, instrument right and that's known as derivative pricing right uh, very sophisticated mathematics used <coughs> uh, to to arrive at the calculate uh, you know the price of uh, other uh, you know the right price of uh, a given derivative uh, <coughs> black soul model is very popular so if you're going to be working in derivatives uh, make sure that you have thorough understanding of black soul model binomial models are also very popular they are easier than black soul models easy to understand easy to explain to other people uh hessel model is also quite uh, uh yeah quite uh, uh useful <coughs> uh, especially it get rid of some of the you know shortcomings or weaknesses of black soul model so if you are going to be working in derivative pricing make sure that you know these three models at the very least right there are many more models by the way in derivative pricing but at the very least you should know all the three models right if you want to be working as a quant in market risk actually they need to be <coughs> on a number of models but at the bare minimum you should know it value at risk model and expected solve shortfall models right these are the most popular models in the field of market risk and you must definitely uh, know about that right <coughs> if you going to be working in credit risk side right, right? Uh, i think anybody you talk to from the credit risk side if you going to be working as a quant in credit risk side you must know what a pd model is what an lgd model is what an ead model is and how are they built for the purpose of capital calculation right so you must <coughs> have understanding of fair bit of understanding of these models and uh, beside uh, knowing how to build these models you should also know how they can be transformed into uh, different other parameters such as how they the models can be used for i fresh 9 purpose that means for provisioning purpose <coughs> pro provisioning how do you use these models right <coughs> and beside that you also uh, you also should know how to validate these models how to assess the performance of these models how to stress test these models by the way <coughs> for all the models that i have spoken so far or the ones that i'll be talking later on not just you need to know building model so you need to know how to build ming models but you should know how to validate the models <coughs> how to build the model how to validate the model how to monitor the models and if possible even understand how you can implement the models right so you should know all four aspects of modeling <coughs> right also make sure that you know the shortcomings okay understand the theory that how you will <coughs> uh, how how the model works right what's the theory behind it but make sure also to understand the application shift right where in the real world these models are used right absolutely important that you will be asked questions <coughs> okay uh, there may be models in, in the fixing income side uh, the bonds right bond pricing itself is a topic quite a uh, very broad topic you have <coughs> you know some uh, theoretical model very domain specific academic models finance in you know in the financial literature you have uh, hull and white models for yield curve okay to fit an yield curve uh, you need uh, various types of model vice check model is also used uh, you have different types of interested models also so <coughs> yeah have have uh, understanding of these three should be fine if are into portfolio management uh, capm capital asset pricing model uh, very simple model but make sure that you have good understanding of this multi index model uh, again quite uh, uh, an interesting uh, topic you know compared to capm capm has some <coughs> weaknesses whereas multi index models uh, uh, you know uh, address some of these weaknesses with the capm model um all right if you are in the trading side right if you're going to be working in <coughs> trading side make sure that you have understanding of the <coughs> simple moving average exponential moving average uh, momentum uh, models uh, under have understand go pair trading models understand what uh, factor models are and how they are used for investment purpose um, okay if you're going to be working in uh, operational risk side uh, it's a very newly developed uh, area so make sure that you have good understanding of um you know the extreme value theory and how extreme value theory is used in in operational risk beside also make sure that you have some understanding <coughs> of uh, uh uh you know climate risk some understanding of uh, esg you know those areas um make sure that <coughs> you have um studied the you know the basics of financial econometrics very well regression time series models 
make sure that you have understood uh, you know the tree models in machine learning make sure that you have understood uh, you know cross validation techniques so those things are super important and when you build these models those basic concept will always be useful now the list that i have given here is again as i have said in the beginning it's just uh, you know <coughs> um it's it's actually a small part of the big ocean right there is many more models in the quant finance but if you have you know the bare minimum to learn these models should be and in fact it's it it will take till take like couple of months time i think for definitely 3 months time in order to learn these models but if you have understanding of these models a fair bit of understanding then uh, in my personal opinion that's good enough to get started in quant finance you can start at uh, in a various places you can start working in quant finance right so all the best if you uh, are interested to get into uh, uh, quant finance i wish you all the luck if you want to learn these models in a very structured way but even more models than these models you know reach out to me uh, i have a certification course on quant finance Uh, and risk modeling you will learn uh, a lot of things uh, you know starting from the very basics of use of mathematics and and and, and statistics in the field of finance but you will also learn regression modeling uh, in the context of finance you will also learn time series modeling such as arima arch cards ecm ve uh, vector order regression those models and the applications in the field of finance you will learn about asset pricing derivative pricing all those things you will learn about risk management corporate finance you will learn also about quantitative trading and investment you will learn about uh, you know credit risk modeling market risk modeling uh, all right so <coughs> and you will also do a project you will learn uh, many case studies using python so right it's very uh, comprehensive beginner friendly uh, you know a certification program if you are interested do reach out to me uh, i you will have my whatsapp number in the you know in in the comment section just drop me a message i will share the details of the course okay thanks for watching